Hey, and welcome to Board with Life News for March 4th. This week I'm going to talk about Welcome to the Dungeon, Expansions for Arctic Scavengers and Cash and Guns, a merger between Dice Hate Me Games and Greater Than Games, as well as the Kickstarter for Bottom of the Ninth. Let's get to it. Hey, I'm Chris. Welcome to Board with Life News. This week in board game news, Yellow announced that they'll be releasing a game called Welcome to the Dungeon, which is actually a reprint of a Japanese push-your-luck game that was originally called Dungeon of Mandom. It's a push-your-luck game where players dare each other to enter a monster-filled dungeon with less and less equipment. Uh, This is part of a series of small box games coming out from Yellow. There's uh, like six or eight of them that all have kind of Yellow's wonderful, beautiful design and artwork. Um, So they all kind of like match and look nice together, but this is one of them. Arctic Scavengers, a deck building game from a couple years ago, is getting an expansion, and it's going to be called Arctic Scavengers Recon. This adds new tribe leader roles, new mercenaries, new equipment, and it will also increase player interaction. In addition to releasing this as a separate item, they're also going to kind of re-release the base game in a larger box that with all included expansions. Cash and Guns 2nd Edition was one of my favorite party games from last year, and it is getting an expansion as well. This expansion is going to be called Cash and Guns The Cop. This is going to include four new guns, new loot cards, uh, unique player powers, including a new role where you're basically an undercover cop, and you have uh, you're not trying to get the most loot. You're trying to sound the alarm secretly before everybody gets away with all their loot. So it sounds interesting. It's a really fun game where you you know get a point foam guns at your friends. What's not to like about that? This week we got news of a game merger that did not include uh, Asthma Day, which is crazy because they all, every week they buy a new company. This is a merger between two independent publishers, Greater Than Games and Dice Hate Me Games. You'll know Greater Than Games, they're the people who produce Sentinels of the Multiverse, and Dice Hate Me Games has produced uh, Viva Java and Compounded, as well as a lot of other um, kind of small strategy games. Um, apparently there are no personnel changes, and this is basically going to be Dice Hate Me Games just operating underneath, uh, Greater Than Games as one of their brands, so it makes sense in the, in the sense that Greater Than Games really focuses on kind of thematic games, while uh, Dice Hate Me Games does kind of, uh, more strategy style games, so it'll be interesting to see what comes of that. So, funny enough, this week on Kickstarter is the first title from, coming out from the merger of Greater Than Games and Dice Hate Me Games. And it is Bottom of the Ninth, which is a baseball simulation dice-rolling pressure luck game by Daryl Lauder, who is the designer of Compounded. I actually got to play a uh, proto-copy of this at BoardGameGeekCon this year, and I had a lot of fun with it. It's a very light, quick uh, game with pressure luck mechanics, and it does a really good job of kind of creating the tension that happens in the end of baseball games where you're the pitcher trying to get the last out or the batter trying to hit that like walk-off home run. Um, so it was a lot of fun, and I was a big fan of it. It is currently $20 right now on Kickstarter. All right, that was the Fast and Furious news for this week. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, all that good stuff. This week's question comes from at Daniel Solace via Twitter, and he asks, What's up with the March Kickstarter saturation? Has industry advice overcrowded the platform? Uh... There were this past week a ton of board game and tabletop game related uh, Kickstarters that launched, uh, Bottom of the Ninth being one of them, but there are a lot of good ones and more so than normal. There's some weeks, you know, in you know January or things like that where I struggle a little bit to find an interesting Kickstarter game that released that week. I always find them because they're always them. But this week, yeah, I was one of those where I could have picked any of ten games to talk about. Um, it is, I do think, I don't think it's a coincidence, I do think a lot of it is because industry advice, uh, February and March are supposed to be really good months to have successful Kickstarters. It's after people have gotten over spending money for Christmas, but before people spend money on taxes. Um, so I do think a lot of Kickstarter blogs and Kickstarter advice people recommend launching now, and I think now that Kickstarter has been going long enough and it's become a pretty standard way to release board games, Um, tons of people are taking that information to heart, and I think that is why. I do think that it will affect the campaigns currently running. I mean, I, for one, back a lot of games on Kickstarter, and there are a lot of games that I think if it was in a month without another kind of Kickstarter game that I was super interested in, I would totally back it. But right now, having, you know, I'm currently backed like three or four games, I'm not going to keep backing games. Um, So I do think that they are all pulling from the same sort of pool, and I do think that it's definitely going to affect them. That being said... I think that they're still going to be successful. I think that, um, you know, the good games are still going to get funded and things of that nature. So it's yet to be seen how it will really affect them. 
But um, certainly not a coincidence that there are a ton of Kickstarters going on right now for board games. So thanks so much for tuning in, and I will see you next week.